Nous allons commencer notre service. We're going to begin our service. And uh, please um, uh, take your seats. S'il vous plaît, vous pouvez prendre place. So, um, today again, we're going to turn our hearts to the Lord to uh, seek His face and to um, learn from Him as He's going to instruct us from His Word. And also, let us prepare our hearts to worship Him, to praise Him, for He is the only one worthy of praise. Amen? He is the only one worthy of praise. So let us lift up our hearts, our eyes, our hands to Him, so He would receive all our praise. And let us pray first. We thank You, Lord, for Your goodness and Your grace, uh, for You have brought us here as one body, Lord. And worship you together yet uh, he, here on this earth and prepare us lord to meet you and we worship you in yeshua's amen amen Quelqu'un parmi vous est-il dans la souffrance? Quelqu'un? 
quelqu'un parmi vous est-il malade, la prière de la foi sauvera le malade et le Seigneur le relèvera. Et s'il a commis des péchés, il lui sera pardonné. Confessez donc vos péchés les uns aux autres et priez les uns pour les autres afin que vous soyez guéris. La prière fervente du juste a une grande efficace. For every house is built by someone, but he who built all things is God. And Moses indeed was faithful in all his house as a servant, for a testimony of those things which would be spoken afterward. But Messiah as a son over his own house, whose we are if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope to the end. Altogether, for the time has come for Jesus to begin at the house of God. And if it begins with first, what will be the end of those who do not obey the gospel of God? Que toute amertume, toute animosité, toute colère, toute clameur, toute calomnie et toute espèce de méchanceté disparaissent du milieu de vous. Soyez bons les uns envers les autres. Compatissant, vous pardonnant réciproquement comme Dieu vous a pardonné en le Messie. Ensemble, veillez à ce que nul ne se prive de la grâce de Dieu, à ce qu'aucune racine d'amertume poussant des rejetons ne produise du trouble et que plusieurs n'en soient infectés. Oh, bless our God, you peoples, and make the voice of his praise to be heard. I cried to him with my mouth, and he was extolled with my tongue. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear. But certainly God has heard me. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Altogether, blessed be God who has not turned away my prayer nor his mercy from me. Mais je t'adresse ma prière, ô Éternel, que ce soit le temps favorable, ô Dieu, par ta grande bonté. Réponds-moi en m'assurant ton secours. Je célébrerai le nom de Dieu par des cantiques, je l'exalterai par des louanges. Ensemble, car ce n'est ni de l'Orient, ni de l'Occident, ni du désert que vient l'élévation, mais Dieu est celui qui juge, il abaisse l'un et élève l'autre. Je publierai ces choses à jamais, je chanterai en l'honneur du Dieu de Jacob.
there's a good uh, lesson that we're going to learn today. Regardless of the majority, the Lord is in authority. That's uh, the Lord's arm is never too short. And we ask, are his promises sure, even if the majority don't believe in him? Whether Moses lost heart or whether he grew so disappointed in his own people, God will never disappoint. God wrote an unconditional covenant with Israel and signed it with an outstretched arm, not a short arm, but one that reaches way into the future to bring Israel out of the desert and into the millennial promises of land possession and priesthood. And God secures us the same way for every difficulty we face, every unresolved problem. Is the Lord's arm too short that he cannot save us out of it? Come, let us who are weary take rest in the palm of his outstretched hand where his name, where our name, has been engraved in his hand. Yes, there is power in the minority because God is just one, but oh, how powerful that one is. An arm to carry each one of us, his children. Come, let us rest in him.
of the ashes we rise There's no one like you None like you Our God is greater Our God is stronger God, you are higher than any other Our God is healer Awesome in power Our God Our God darkness you shine For out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you None like you Our God is great Our God is greater Our God is stronger God, you are higher than any other Our God is healer Awesome in power Our God Our God Our God is greater our God is stronger, God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power, our God, our God. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand again? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand again? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand again? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand again? What can stand again? Our God is greater, our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Our God, our God. Our God is greater, our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Our God, our God, our God. we're going to learn about Eldad and Medad who thought <clears throat> who though they didn't line up together with the other 70 elders and though they were found in the camp and not at the tent of meeting they still received the spirit just like the other elders who did meet at the tabernacle God is everywhere and can appoint and anoint even those who are far from the mainstream what this teaches us is that it's not so much the place or the circumstance which dictates it's the Lord who chooses where and who and when he divinely appoints and makes our appointments divine it's not just for the leadership like Moses to have that kind of anointing but today it's for all of us for each one who knows the Lord to be part of his great work it doesn't matter where we're situated physically because when we make Yeshua the center of our lives his spirit will rest in us and empower us and anoint us and bless us. For with this spirit moving in us, we have become the temple and we bring him wherever we go. Yeshua, we exalt you. We ask you to be the center in our lives.
Protection will 
everyone here and to comfort us by your spirit if we go through trials or s for sicknesses lord put your healing healing hand upon every one of us lord so we can turn to you and see how good you are lord and praise and worship you and uh, enter in, in even in a more intimate relationship with you lord we ask you uh, today to bless uh, this offering that we're giving to you from our hearts so it may be used for your glory in Yeshua's name Amen What might Joshua and Caleb have thought when they understood that they would be entering into the promised land the only two who were over 20 years old who would get to see with their own eyes the land of milk and honey, the sweet promise after 40 years of desert. Yes, it was because of obedience and faith that they would enter in. Joshua and Caleb, we're going to hear today like representing two ethnicities, two nationalities, like Jew and Gentile today. Today we are Jew and Gentile, one in the body of Messiah, and we're going to enter into eternity together because of faith. The trumpet sounded and the fall of Jericho happened. But God's trumpet sounds and that will give rise to our soul. We all have our desert days. But soon and maybe even today, the Lord himself may descend from heaven with the trump of God. Then shall we be forever with the Lord. Into the promised land of rest. Jew and Gentile, eternally one. There is a day that all in Christ are waiting for. Waiting for a day of freedom, liberation for the saints. And on that day, the Lord will come to meet His bride. To meet His bride. And when we see Him, in an instant we'll be changed. The trumpet sounds, and the dead will then be raised. Let be raised. And by his power, never to suffer again. Once only flesh, now clothed with immortality. Talent, talent, talent. And death has now been swallowed up in victory. We'll meet him in the air, and then we will be like him, for we will see him as he is, oh yeah. Then all hurt and pain will cease, and we'll be with him forever, and in his glory we will live, oh yeah. Amen. So lift your eyes to the things as yet unseen, yet unseen, that will remain for all eternity. Though troubles hide, it's only momentary. And it's achieved our future glory. glory. We will meet him in the air, and then we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. Oh, yeah. Then all hurt and pain will cease. And we'll be with him forever. And in his glory, we will live, oh yeah. We will meet him in the air. And then we will be like him. For we will see him as he is, oh yeah. Then all hurt and pain will cease And we'll be with him forever And in his glory We will live Oh yeah
si vous voulez vous lever, on va chanter Alléluia à notre Seigneur.